What's up you guys? Welcome back for another video. Thank you for tuning in. Today's gonna be really exciting because we're doing a daily vlog, little like follow me around situation. And today is a very exciting day because I'm finally going to pick up my new car. I'm not gonna get all emotional right now and all into it. We'll save that for the later part of the video. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in. I am starting, starting my summer vlogs. So make sure that you guys are subscribed here to my channel. I'm gonna be doing three vlogs a week. Um, those are just the videos I love filming the most, seeing my little guy on camera. And I did a series last year called Flashbacks which did really well. Um, you guys loved it and I loved filming it and it was super fun so I'm so excited that it's finally summer. Christian is out of school and I can just kind of film like our daily life. So to start off today's video, I just pulled up to the gym. I'm just sitting outside real quick. I just took my pre-workout and my BCAAs. Excuse the hair, I literally just woke up. I'm super excited because we're gonna do some cardio and we're gonna do a workout with resistance bands today. I'm actually working with Fit Simplify on this video. They're an incredible company who sells resistance bands and you guys always ask me how I use them. So I'm about to demonstrate for you in the gym. There'll also be a giveaway at the end of the workout portion, so stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, I just took my branch chain aminos, a little bit of pre-workout. I haven't worked out in like three days, so your girl is ready to sweat. So thank you guys so much for being here. Please make sure you are subscribed and let's get in the gym. All right, you guys, so let's get started. I wanted to show you how incredibly easy it is to do a full workout, a killer workout. Your girl was sweating so hard with Fit Simplify resistance bands. So, so easy. You guys see me use these on Instagram all the time. You literally can just order a pack of resistance bands and do this from home, actually. You don't even need to be in a gym. And the burn, I am telling you, my legs, quads, glutes were on fire. So what I'm doing here first is I'm using a light resistance band, the lightest one that they have. Um, I will have the website linked below for Fit Simplify. They you sell all of these resistance bands, super cheap. Um, what I was doing there was just some sidewalking lunges and then I'm doing some jumps to just get my heart rate up, get everything going. This was kind of the warm up to my lower body workout. Then here I took the medium resistance and I was just doing some squats. Before I did squats with the barbell, I like to just do body weight squats like this. And I'm telling you, do not underestimate. This band makes any resistance band, makes the workout like five times harder. Your quads will be burning, your glutes, I'm telling you, like whenever I use the resistance bands, even if I just go to my apartment gym or I'm at home, it's a super convenient way to literally up the burn on your workout like five times. I get sweaty really easily. So I was just doing 12 squats. I did that three times. Then I was using the same medium resistance band, just kind of doing these crab walks up and back. I am filming one of every exercise for you guys, but I usually do about two to three sets. So today was a full lower body day. Again, you can see there having the band on just really helps keep the tension. Um, so then I did pick up two dumbbells to do RDLs. I'm just keeping my feet maybe about a foot away from each other. And I only bend down till right underneath my knee. I don't bring the weight all the way down to my foot. Um, I can feel the resistance again with this. I switched back to the light band because the medium one was too hard. Like it's really, really tough. You can definitely feel the resistance. So I used two 20 pound dumbbells. Um, you can actually just use five pounds if you wanna do this at home or you can use no weight at all. You'll definitely still feel it there in your glutes and in your quads but I did three sets of RDLs. Then I just kept on the resistance band and I did these glute hip thrusts. Again, if you're at home, just put your feet up on the couch or something and make sure to squeeze your glutes really, really hard at the very top. This, you could definitely feel it contracting here. You could even use the, the uh, heavy resistance band and feel a lot more. Um, again, even with the super light band, you guys, I'm gonna be honest, it's really tough, even just with that tiny bit of resistance. Here, I'm just doing some squat jumps. Again, I believe I did 10 to 12 reps uh, times two. Then I'm just kind of jumping straight up here in the air. Uh, my heart rate was so up by this point. My entire like bun was sweating. Then I did go ahead and move on to the leg press machine since this was a lower body day. Again, I kept the resistance band on my legs for every single exercise I did. So I was just doing 12 sets of um, regular leg press here. Then you'll see I kind of move my feet out into a wider position more towards the top, um, towards the like left and right outer portion of the leg machine here. You'll see I do like a wide stance. I'm literally stopping right there trying to catch my breath because this workout was so, so tough. Um, so yeah, 10 to 12 reps here. Then as you can see here, I kind of switched the position into more of like a wide angle, um, like a wide stance squat. So I did another 12 reps there. I just have 45 pounds on the bar. Then I actually used one of their pull-up bands as well. And I went over here and I just did as many pull-ups as I could do till failure. This band right here gives you about 40 pounds of help. So if you're learning to do pull-ups, it's really cool. They have really light resistance bands and then they have really, really um, heavy ones depending how much weight of your own you can pull up on the bar. So if you're trying to learn how to do pull-ups, these are incredible. I use these bands every time I'm in the gym to strengthen my arms and strengthen my biceps so I'm able to finally be able to do pull-ups on my own. 
Um, so yeah, this company, Fit Simplify, they do sell all of these resistance bands, plus they sell like glute straps. They are gonna be giving you guys one set of five loop bands for free and a $100 gift card to my one of my subscribers. Just click below in the description box for the link to enter that giveaway. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that workout footage. Please go ahead and check below in the description box for the giveaway. Um, I only worked out for like 40 minutes um, because whenever I use the resistance bands and I do some HIIT training incorporated, I can get a good sweat and like a really good workout very quickly. So I left the gym, I was like rushing home, just did a body shower. I did my face super fast, just have like the same bun. I just like threw on a dress because it's easy, right? Ladies, you feel me? Dresses and rompers, they take like no effort. I uh, just put on this jacket and went out the house because I just went finally to pick up my new car, which is obviously what I'm in right now and what I'm gonna share with you guys. I know all of you probably just wanna see video footage of the car, you wanna know what kind of car I got, how much it was, all that, which I will share. I'm very transparent about everything, you guys know. I'll share everything with you. I'll cut to a little video montage of a video preview of the car so you guys can see. But I do wanna have a little like chit chat with you uh, about the car. I feel like I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> I've already like cried twice today. Um, and I hope you will hear me out and stay for this portion of the video because this car, okay, am I getting on my period? Um, this car is a huge deal for me, huge, a huge, huge, huge deal. I just passed the point with YouTube uh, last month, I believe, that I have been making videos now and just running my own business, working for myself, you know, being like an influencer and I've launched my Girl Boss Academy courses and I've been doing, I haven't worked for anyone else or had any type of retail job for four years. So I've officially been, you know, doing my own thing for four years. It's my growth has been, I wouldn't say slow or slower. I didn't just like get a million subscribers in a year and I have all this money. That is not my situation at all. And I've tried to be as upfront and transparent with you guys about how hard it's taken me to get to this point and how consistent I was at the very beginning and growing my channel and how consistent I've been saving money. You guys, I never buy myself anything. If you know me in person, uh, you know, I'm always talking about shopping at Ross and Marshall's and like discount places and because it's always been in the back of my mind that I want a home so bad. I want to be a homeowner and I want to know that I got a home all by myself. And the second thing that I've always wanted is a car. And you know, but I do have Christian. I've got to save money for him. If there's ever an emergency, I can't just, you know, I didn't go out and buy this car the minute I started making money on YouTube. I waited a really, really long time. And I think that's what people think is when you have success or you start growing a following, you can just get this stuff really quick and it's overnight. And it's not been that way for me, um, which is why it does make me so emotional because this is a, uh, this is a huge purchase for me. This, you know, this means that I've saved money and I've worked really hard in my business and I was finally able to upgrade my car, which is, you know, something I really want. And it's a safe car for my son. It's so safe. Um, I do not have tons of money where I can just go out and I'm like, oh, I'm just, I'm just going to buy a new car today. That's not my life at all. I wish maybe someday. Um, but no, I've known this exact car has been on my vision board for like three years, you guys. And that's a whole nother video I want to make because I did save money and I did work really hard to get this car. But I truly also believe that I manifested this exact car into my life because the exact car that I got was such a steal as well. I did get this pre-owned, very, very slightly pre-owned. There's only 5,000 miles on it, but that's also a really smart tip if you're going to purchase a car. Um, so basically like the super high new price of the car was knocked off because it's pre-owned, but it's so small pre-owned, like it's only got the 5,000 miles. So I have a warranty on it up until 50,000 with Mercedes, which is awesome. Um, so I didn't have to purchase an additional warranty or waste any money on that. I also have improved my credit so, so much. Um, my old car, my friend actually signed on it for me, just being fully honest. I know we all have credit issues and I definitely did two years ago. So I was able to get her name off and just do all of this on my own with my own credit, my own name, you know, my own down payment. Um, and it's just really nice to know that I was finally able to, to get this car. Yeah, it, it makes me cry because this exact car was on my vision board, you know? And it's just like, it's just crazy to think about like my journey with Christian. You guys know I don't have a husband or someone like helping me with anything in life. I've had to save and, you know, do my, not a complaint. I always feel like it comes off as a complaint. Just doing my own thing as a single mom and trying to provide for Christian and give him everything he needs and make sure he's set before I get anything for myself. And um, I know it's just a car, but for me, it's a huge deal. It's a really big deal. Um, when I left Verizon four years ago, my coworkers laughed at me. They were like, you're making YouTube videos? Like, what are you doing? Like, oh, that's cool, haha. -ha. I showed this girl I worked with. I don't wanna cry because I have lashes on today. I showed this girl I worked with um, my, what's it called? 
one of my very first outfits of the day and I could tell in the back of her mind while she was watching the video on my old like iPhone 4 she was like chuckling like oh what's that that'll never like that'll never be anything and I wasn't in it at that time for it to be something to be like for me to make money on it or anything but I knew it would take me somewhere and I knew that you know I would be consistent and I I was just making videos for fun, you know, for the first two years, for just for fun. Uh, because I love seeing my son on camera and I wanted to just kind of document my life as a single mom. And if you've been with me since the beginning, you've seen me live at my dad's house. You've seen me live at my first really shitty apartment, then my second apartment, which was a little less shitty. And now my condo, which is such a nice community, which I'm so grateful to live there. And you know, my next step is gonna be buying a home, which is just, uh, if I'm already crying at the car, I can't imagine the all the prepare for all the tears in the uh, home video. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just let you guys know what I know. It's corny, but this is me. Like this, <laughs> I ramble like this in every video. But I want to make it so clear to you guys. Whatever you want to do, whether it's social media, YouTube, you know, photography, music, whatever you're passionate about, you can do it. And I know because. Obviously, like I'm still on my journey of, you know, growing my business and I launched my Girl Boss Academy courses, which I had such a successful launch thanks to you guys, and I'm so incredibly grateful for that. Um, you know, start today. Don't let any more time pass. Do not think the market is too saturated. If you have a passion for something and God has called you to share something with people, the market is never too saturated. Like just know that. You know, you have that calling and that passion in your heart for a reason. I truly believe that. And you're by you following what you're passionate about, if you put your passion for it above your desire of wanting to get this crazy income, the income will come. Because if you share what you love with people, I truly believe that the universe, God, whatever you believe in, will bring you the income that you deserve if you're a really hard worker. I really believe that and I've seen it work in my own business. When I'm lazy on my videos sometimes and I'm not like super into it or I'm like going through a little depressed phase because we all get those, you know, my income goes down. And when I work really, really hard and my mindset is on it and I'm so excited about my video ideas, which is where I'm at right now, I'm so inspired for all these summer vlogs. This is like my favorite time of year and I have so much good content coming for you guys. So if you are watching this and you're not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe and hit the notification bell, please. Um, I'd love to have you. Um, but yeah, be consistent guys. You can get anything that you want, anything. And you don't need a man. You don't need your family. You don't need money from anyone else. You can do that by yourself. And I guess that's just why it gets me emotional because you know, it's been, a, it's been a long time coming for me, guys. A few years ago, I had like a 460 credit score. I had no money in the bank. I had eleven dollars or $12,000 of medical debt from when I had my son. My son was living in the NICU. I had to go live with my dad because I didn't have enough money to pay my rent or my to pay an apartment on my own. And then I had to live with him for like a year until I finally started making a little bit of money. And then I was able to move into an apartment, which was not even that nice. It was just like, that was all I could get, you know? And to just know that I've saved up money now and like, I'm finally starting to, these blessings are f like finally coming is very exciting for me and that's that's why it does get me emotional. So if you're someone that doesn't like the tears, I'm sorry. Also just like full transparency, like I said before, I am not like rich by any means. Uh, this is a huge purchase for me and to be very honest with you guys, I've got to grind my ass off to have this car. Um, it's in my budget, of course I bought a, I wouldn't buy a car that was out of my budget or I wouldn't have money for other things for my son, you know, I can afford it, but I definitely have to cut down on my shopping trips and my other stuff that I do and put this car as a priority and really grind here on YouTube and with my social media courses. I've got that Instagram and the YouTube course, but I'm also going to be coming out with a manifestation course, which can be extremely affordable, my most affordable course. Um, um, and that's something I'm excited about. And then I've got my second ebook, which I kind of took a break from finishing last month, but I got to hurry up and get that done. Like I am motivated as hell and I really do need to grind hard so I can keep saving money for a house and have this car without, you know, like stressing about the payments or anything. So I am, I'm just trying, I've, I've just been trying to sit in the car and close my eyes and really zone into the feeling of gratitude and how happy I am and how blessed I feel. It's another thing you guys know at the law of attraction. I talk about all the time, just really once a blessing does come into your life or before it comes into your life, I used to imagine myself driving around town in a car like this before I even had it. I acted like I already had it so the universe could bring it to me. You know, that's a huge thing, acting as if with the law of attraction. And I 100% fully believe I manifested this car into my life. Um, 
So I am just so incredibly grateful. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you guys make me feel safe enough to share it because I know a lot of people on social media, they can post things and it can seem like, oh, she's showing off. I think if you know me in person, that's like the farthest thing from me. And I want to say as well, I think I kind of already mentioned, but it took years and years for me to get this car. You know, if you follow me on social media, I've done a few little chit chats with you where I've been in a period of struggle and I've come on camera like crying because I see everyone else in the Range Rovers and in Cabo and like doing all these amazing things and you know someone will start a YouTube channel and they'll get a million subscribers in a year and that hasn't been my journey and sometimes I've found myself really emotional and upset at home thinking like when is it going to be my time you know why why is everyone else having all this success like when is it going to be my time like I work I know how hard I work like staying up so late hours and hours and hours editing videos and all this stuff I do in the back end that no one really sees and I was like when is it going to be my time sorry this guy just passed by and I thought he was gonna like touch the front of my car he was like creeping me out um but yeah I know this chat is getting very long but I was just like, when is it going to be my time for these blessings to come, you know? And it, it wasn't my time yet. I had to keep saving money. I had to better my credit. And I had to be very consistent with my job. Because, you know, with YouTube, sometimes the pay can go like this. If you get a video that blows up or if you get a video that gets very low views, your pay can, you know, fluctuate. And that's another thing with buying a home and buying a car. I had to go through such a long process to get this car being self-employed. I had to print out all my PayPal statements, all my bank statements, all my 1099s. You don't get a W-2 when you're self-employed. You don't get health insurance. You don't get like normal pay stubs so it's very tough to get approved for anything a lot of you also wanted me to make a full video on how I got or how I will be purchasing my first home being self-employed and I'm going to make that video I promise you because actually very soon because it's so different being self-employed um, and again I, it's fine it's just a lot harder of course I love my job I would never go back and work for someone else my goal is to never have to go back and ask for my job back at any retail job or you know work for someone else since I love what I do but you do have to go jump through like 10 more hurdles to get approved for anything when you are self-employed again that's just another obstacle I've had with this car over, over the years I wanted the car but now is finally the time where I could prove my income and you know just finally get it so I'm so incredibly excited again thank you guys for supporting me if you've joined my courses if you've bought an ebook if you've watched my videos that means that you've supported Christian and sorry <laughs> something's coming up that means that you've supported Christian and myself and I genuinely want to say thank you I get comments all the time that my intros or my outros are too long because I sit here and I thank you guys for watching and I go into this whole thing but like that's just me I am genuinely so grateful that you're watching I appreciate you and I'm so uh, just thankful and blessed for this car so I just wanted to share it all with you guys and again like whatever you are going after in life if it's a material thing a home you know you want to grind on social media or become an influencer please please know that you can do it I'm proof of that so many other people are proof of that and just please don't give up on something if you guys really want it